Hi everyone, welcome to Lola's Frugal Life. This is episode number 19. Today is gonna be a um, clean with me episode. I'm going to um, take you through me doing my Thursday morning uh, cleaning routine. I'm hoping maybe if anyone wants to follow along, I'm gonna do this while I'm, like I'm recording while I am cleaning. So I hope the sound quality is not terrible, um, but maybe you could kind of clean along with me. And um, if you like it, let me know. If not, then I'll um, just kind of tell you, um, well, I already have an episode on what my routine is. But um, anyway, if you like it, let me know. Just go to the Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash Lola's Frugal Life, all one word, no apostrophe, and give me some feedback. So first, before we get into the episode, we're just gonna hear a few short words from our sponsor. Thanks so much for listening. So this morning, I'm going to attempt doing a clean with me for my uh, morning routine that I'm doing this morning, which is Thursday. I just don't know if the sound's going to be good because I'm actually cleaning while I'm doing this. So it's Thursday morning, and like I described in one of my other episodes, I try and do um, one thing. Well, not one thing, but I have a routine that I do um, each day. It's something different during the week. So I clean for a half an hour every morning before work. Um, So I started a while ago getting up a half an hour early before work to get in a half hour of cleaning because when I get home at night, um, I'm just really a morning person and I really don't want to have to do a lot and I do have to cook dinner and, you know, of course, things like that. So I started doing this a while ago and I really love it. So this morning when I'm recording this, it's Thursday. And um, hopefully I won't get too out of breath because I'm cleaning and talking at the same time. Um, But uh, so Thursday morning, so what I do Thursday mornings is I do a quick cleanup of our bathroom, um, our main bathroom, which is um, where the whole family uses. And my kids um, use this bathroom. And right now I am... uh, just straightening it up because I can't even clean the bathroom right now. My daughters have a way of taking up every single spot on the counter with stuff. There's papers here, there are nail files, there's lotion, there's a hair straightener, there's hair ties, there's the hand towel that should be hanging on the ring but it's clumped in a ball on the sink. There's a round brush, there is Advil, there's face lotion. like. There is probably almost every bathroom product scattered on the sink right now. And it's only been since um, Monday when I fully clean this bathroom because I do the f- I do the bathroom fully on Monday and then um, I do like a quick 15 minute on Thursday. So that's what I'm doing now. So on Monday I literally like scrub the whole um, bathroom and then I... Uh, like I do the tub, I do the floors, I do like the whole bathroom. But then on Thursdays, I just do like a quick cleanup. So it usually only takes me like not even 15 minutes. Like I allot 15 minutes, but it doesn't even take that long. So I um, just come in and I just like put anything away. And uh, like, I sorry, I know there's going to be noise in this episode. I'm going to try and do the best I can. I'm banging stuff and moving stuff here as I'm putting things away. Um, I basically put um, everything away and then I clean just like the sink, you know, like the countertop, and then I like clean the toilet real quick. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm still straightening up because there's hair ties and everything else. So I I do it with like two microfiber cloths and I, um, I take, oh great, now I can't even find the thing where this they have like little nail files and stuff out and I can't find the little thing they're supposed to go into. Anyway, I'll just stick them away. Um, so I use two microfiber cloths. I like spray this thing down with um, just like some cleaner. Um, right now I'm using the Greenworks cleaner. I got it from Amazon. I don't know. It seems to work fine. Um, it, they sell like a three pack for pretty inexpensive. So I have that and um, I just spray this thing down real quick. The mirror I just like wet 
uh, like I just put like a tiny tiny bit of water which I'm doing right now on the microfiber cloth and I um, wipe it any spots and then I just take the dry one and uh, uh, just like kind of wipe it dry and it I don't even really use any cleaning product on it it comes out perfect so I think the water on the mirror is fine unless you have like you know something really major that maybe a product that splashed on there or whatever but this always works fine for me so anyway I'm just cleaning the mirror and uh, then I'm gonna spray it on the sink and then I'm going to clean the toilet real quick so anyway like I said it's Thursday we're still in um, the corona virus time it's like the beginning of May so once I'm done with my cleaning routine, normally I would get ready and go to work, but instead I'm gonna be getting ready and going to work at the kitchen table, which is weird because it, you know, how long can you like sit in the same place? It's like, oh my gosh, sitting at the kitchen table for days on end. It's just really weird because you don't move that much. Like you don't think you move going into the office, but I came to realize that I actually do move a lot when I'm in the office because you know you get up and you like hand someone a paper sorry you're gonna hear running water now because I'm wetting the uh wetting the washcloth but anyway so if you're doing this with me if you wanted to follow along with this routine I'm really just wiping down the sink now I just sprayed it but um anyway I was saying so it's kind of like um you know like you don't realize it like when you're in the office you think you just sit at your desk all day if you work in an office but you do wind up getting up and, you know, you go hand someone something or you, you know, get up and copy something or scan something or whatever. But when you're working at home, you just kind of like are sitting at the table if you're, you know, if that's the kind of work you do on the computer. Um, so I started the, the other day, I just got up, I just couldn't stand sitting anymore. So I have this app called uh, Workouts for Women and it has like quick little app, um, quick little workouts on it. So I uh, got up and I did like one of those quick um, seven minute workouts just because I was like, I couldn't even stand just sitting there anymore. So anyway, it's starting to get nice out though now. So hopefully soon, um, I'm really hoping soon things will start to get back to normal and the weather will be nice and we could start doing stuff outside and we have um, horses and we are just got allowed to make appointments now to start to ride them again which is really nice um, so hopefully it'll free up where we could just go ride whenever we want that'll be really great once that happens but anyway so I'm still cleaning this thing I'm just putting everything back now like I have like hand soap and lotion and all that kind of stuff so hopefully this will maybe if anyone wants to do this routine with me I really like doing this because it's just it's so nice like when you leave or when you're ready to be moving on with whatever you have to do for the day whether that's like going out to work or if you're a stay-at-home mom or whatever I just love that like when the morning is kind of like done like you know the, you know you finish like your morning routine that there is like something completely done already. So when I'm done today, this bathroom will be straightened up. And I know that when I get home, or when I'm done with whatever else I have to do for the day, I have already accomplished something major. And if I do nothing else, it doesn't matter. And you know, as I'm cleaning, I'm wiping the toilet down right now. And I'm remembering, I was listening to this podcast the other day and I heard a tip, which I should have tried, which I didn't try yet. But um, what it was, was to like dust your sink and your um, toilet first, just like with a dry rag before you clean it. Because um, like when I just sprayed the stuff on the cleaner and then when you start wiping it, it um, like, I don't know, it, like you, all this stuff like gets wet and then like kind of clumps together, even though like I did just clean this toilet, but somehow I guess the dust accumulates on it so I thought that was a really good idea I might try that next time so um yeah so just that's maybe a little cleaning tip if you want to try and like t 
take like a dry rag and just like wipe down everything first before you clay the spray, spray the um, cleaning spray on it. Maybe that'll be a good idea because then you won't get like how the dust kind of all like gets wet and like kind of clumps together and you're like kind of wiping it all over when you're cleaning. So anyway, I heard that on a podcast I was listening to yesterday. So that might be a good idea. So um, anyway, I just finished with the toilet here. So I'm just drying it now and putting um, all my stuff back. And I'm um, trying to think, oh, last night, my daughter, um, I came in here into the bathroom to brush my teeth, and there was a mango, like a half, looked like a half-eaten mango, I guess it was like the mango pit, and it was in the kit, in the bathroom sink, and it was uh, just soaking in there, like the sink was filled up. And it was soaking in the sink, and there was a sign, like a big sign, like on the top of the sink, and it said, um, do not touch, or something like that, experiment. <laughs> so I have no idea what she was doing. That's my 14-year-old daughter, and that was last night, and it was late, and I never got to find out what the experiment was, but I'll have to find out about that. Oh, and I just, uh, I just picked up my daughter's retainer case, and I feel that her retainer is in it. So that's not good. She's supposed to be wearing her retainer every night. That's for my 17 year old. So anyway, I, um, I just finished cleaning the bathroom. I'm just going to pause the episode real quick so I could see what I'm going to do next because after I do the bathroom, then I do some zone cleaning. So I just want to check the list and see what I'm going to work on. Okay. So I looked at my, um, my app, the Fly Lady app that I use that has all of my zone cleaning um, tasks in it. And this week zone is the kitchen. So um, I'll be doing an episode this weekend because we'll still be in the kitchen zone this weekend. And um, I'll go through that, like what are all the things that I have on the list to do in the zone while I'm doing the kitchen zone. So I don't always um, get everything done I mean, ideally I should, but I don't always finish. Sorry, I'm getting out like a garbage can, a a garbage bag now because I'm reloading the garbage. Um, I I had to take the garbage out. One of the things on my zone list is to wipe down the garbage can for the kitchen cleaning. Probably that should be done more frequently than just when I'm in the zone, but I don't know. I don't do it enough, I'm sure. Um, So anyway, while I... um, what the heck was I saying? I can't remember. Anyway, I was looking at the um, the Fly Lady app, and I'm in the kitchen zone, so um, I just kind of looked at the app to see, and there's so many things that need to be done in the kitchen zone for the zone cleaning, which is kind of like the um, like your deep cleaning stuff, not just like the regular, you know, washing dishes and all that kind of stuff. So right now I'm wiping down the garbage can. So what I do is I just kind of open the app and I just look at it. And if I see something on the list that I know definitely needs to be done higher priority than something else, then I'll do that first. And what I do too is like um, when I check off the list, I leave it like safer in the zone this week and um, I don't get to uh, finish everything in the zone during the week that I have to do everything I check off what I did and then I keep everything else unchecked and then that way um, once uh, the next time that zone comes around I could see what I never got to last time so I make sure to do those things first so ideally supposed to get to everything in the week that you're in that zone but it doesn't always happen so anyway I'm wiping down the uh, (coughs) the garbage can and then um, I have like a water cooler. Need a new rag for that. We have like one of those water coolers in the kitchen where you, um, you know, you put like, you got like the water bottle deliveries that go like on top, like the big water jug. And that's one of the things that I do that's on my zone cleaning list. I take like the drip tray out and like dump it and wipe it down. So I'm doing that now. So um, yeah, but anyway, what I wanted to say is that. The reason that I am including 
cleaning um, episodes also on my, um, what the heck, oh my gosh, I can't think, um, in part of my Frugal Life podcast program is because I think that cleaning your own house is a frugal decision you can make. I mean, you can also choose to spend your money and have a cleaning person, which is totally fine. Um, that could also be a frugal decision because frugal is just basically being intentional with your money and, and doing what you is, is important to you. Um, for me, we did have a cleaning lady for years and years, and she was really great, and we really loved having her. Um, we had her when my son was younger, um, and then as the girls were younger, you know, as the girls came along and we had them, we had her during that time. But um, my son recently started college this year, and we're like determined for him to go to college debt free, no matter what. He's starting at community college uh, for the first two years. And then I'm hoping he'll go to one of like our state um, schools because they're a lot less expensive. And hopefully, even one he can maybe commute to. Um, but anyway, so as part of our plan to make sure we could pay for that college, I decided to cancel the cleaning service which was an enormous decision. Like, it was really, really hard to decide to do that. So once I did it, I then needed to start cleaning. I mean, I cleaned before, but I didn't have to do like the bathrooms and the mopping and all that kind of stuff. So, um, oh gosh, I'm trying to put the thing back on the water cooler and I cannot seem to get it on. Sorry, so I'm sure this is creating a lot of noise. Um, I'm gonna pause this. (laughs) So you don't have to hear all this banging. Okay, sorry about that. The um, drip tray, there was like two pieces that when you pull it out, you like take it apart to clean it. And then I tried to put one back and then like the other one um, separately. And I didn't realize it had to be attached before you put it back. So I was having a little trouble with that. Anyway, one of the decisions I made um, with when, when my son was starting college was to um, start cleaning myself. Um, I figured I'm sure there was a way I could do it many many women do it no reason why I couldn't Um, and I just needed to find like routines that um, helped me kind of keep things under control and not feel like overwhelmed and also I I just accepted that that progress over perfection saying and um, just you know, keeping in mind that getting something done is get is better than getting nothing done. And I just do the best I can. So I don't always get through all the zones. I do the best I can. I feel like if the uh, top of the fridge is dusty, it's not going to kill us. So I'll get to it next time. I always make sure the bathrooms are clean and the kitchen. You know, like all the basic stuff, but not not always all the details. Um, anyway, so that's why I include cleaning. Uh, episodes because I think if that's a decision you want to make it's good to have help um, and ideas on how to keep on top of it and feel like you're getting enough done and not worrying like how you're going to get it all done and how to keep track of what you need to do so I forgot to mention this is only uh, when I do the zone cleaning in the mornings like I'm doing right now it's only 15 minutes so on the because I do a half hour cleaning slot in the um, on the mornings so I do the, um, on Thursdays, which is when I'm recording this, I do 15 minutes in the bathroom and then 15 minutes of zone cleaning. So I only have about like 10 minutes left, not even. Um, so I'm just looking again now. So, okay. So I have to do the, uh, I have to do the fan in here. And like I said, I'm going to do a full episode on Saturday on all the items in the zone, um, cleaning list. So I'm just dusting my like kitchen fan right now. I have this really cool like big feather duster that I got at uh, TJ Maxx like years ago. And it's like kind of like a triangle. So you could like, and it has like a hole in the center. So it kind of like slides over top of the fan. And it has like, it like extends high, but right now I'm doing the kitchen. So it's not like a high fan. When I bought it, I was really excited about it because I have a really high ceiling fan in our family room because the ceilings like go up really high and um, it's kind of like a, like a vault, I don't know, it's not a vaulted ceiling, I don't know what you call it, but whatever. Um, unfortunately, the, like the paddles on that fan 
are too um, too wide, so this doesn't fit around it. So I just kind of stick it up there and just kind of wiggle it around and do the best I can with it. But right now I'm just doing the fan in the kitchen. So if you haven't done that in a while, that's that's always something that drives me insane. That was one of the things I loved the cleaning people about, that the ceiling fan was always dusted, because that's one of those things you kind of sometimes forget. All right, so let's see. So I, so far, I wiped down the garbage can, I cleaned the water cooler tray, I um, I just did the, um, the, the whatchamacallit, the fan. I'm just trying to see, oh, I have, I have um, Oh, you know what I have on here? That's a good one. Wipe down the wine glasses, but I don't feel like doing that right now. I only have a few minutes left. Normally I set a timer, but I wasn't thinking and I didn't set a timer. I should have done that. Um, clean out freezer. I might just do that real quick. Like, nah, you know what? That takes too long. Uh, you know what? Wash the inside window. We have a window here and I actually just bought a new bottle of Windex. So I'm just gonna clean the window real quick. We have like a little window that sticks out. Sticks out, hello. That um, looks out to our side yard. So I'm just gonna spray this with Windex real quick and get that done. And then I'm thinking that this might be the last thing that I do because it's been about 15 minutes. I don't really make sure it's exact, but it's been pretty close. And I'm gonna use a paper towel right now, which I never do. I like never use paper towels. To save money, I use cloth um, napkins. I only use paper towels if I really have to. And usually when I do the windows, I would use a microfiber cloth. But the one that I had, I used to wipe down the garbage can. Like I wet it and put cleaner on it and then I wipe down the garbage can with it. So I don't know if you're supposed to do that or not, but I use them for everything. So I'm cleaning this window with a paper towel because I don't feel like going and grabbing another microfiber cloth. So I think that's the last thing I'm going to do this morning in my zone cleaning. So I cleaned about a half hour. It took me probably a little less than 15 minutes in the bathroom. And I did about 15 minutes in here. And uh, I need to go get ready for work now. So hopefully maybe this will motivate some of you guys to um, do some cleaning in the morning. Or if you're a night person, just take a half hour at night and do some cleaning then. So, um, oh, and don't forget, go to the Facebook page. It's on facebook.com slash Lola's Frugal Life, all one word, that's the Facebook page. There's a link to the group on that page. Like at the top, it says groups. And um, you can message me from the page. You can um, post something there. Um, but there's also a listeners group, like a private listeners group that you can join. And you might be the first one to join because I don't have anyone yet. But I would be so excited if someone joined. I have been making these episodes. I am starting to get listeners. But I have no idea if anyone likes them or not. Like, I don't know if I'm talking about things that you guys want to hear. Um, I'm really trying to do this to be helpful to people out there. And um, if I could get some feedback, it would be really, really amazing because I think like, okay, well, someone listened, but were they like, okay, well, that was crappy, move along. <laughs> I have no idea. So I would love, I would really love it if I could get your feedback. And don't worry if you're the first one to join the group. I'm hoping more will join us. And in the group, we can um, have like discussions about different frugal topics or cleaning or whatever, goal setting. I know that's not a frugal topic, but it's something that I'm always um, really into. So anyway, check that out and uh, have a great day. Thanks.